Welcome to another episode of IT Weekly, the show that helps you enhance instruction through innovation. In today's episode, you're going to learn about passwords and how they're being used to access uh, applications in the student portal. All right, today we want to share some very important information for you. This is going to talk about passwords for K-3 students. So much, so important, so that we have been brought in Boston, brought in oh, yeah. important people to talk about. We have uh, with us um, to explain this important information, the Director of Instructional Technology, Donna Jessup. Goal six of the strategic plan reminds us that learning can be inspired and nurtured through technology. CMS is committed to providing high quality online experiences for all students. It used to be that students could only access instructional applications from a campus computer. Now with the introduction of web-based applications, students can access learning applications at school and at home. Beginning February 10th, Kindergarten through third grade students will have a newly implemented password. This password will allow kindergarten through third grade students to access those instructional applications such as Dreambox and Compass Learning through the student portal, whereas before they were unable to access those applications. We realize that this may be a challenge for our kindergarten through third grade students. Therefore, the district is providing every school cards with student login information to help the teachers help the students with this transition. It is our efforts to make this experience as seamless as possible for both students and teachers and we will do what we can to support you. Thank you for your understanding and we look forward to it. All right, that was some important information, but thank you, uh, Donna, for, for uh, sharing that with us. And, that, and this is that's very important because these applications, they will extend the learning beyond the classroom. You're right, and, and I think what, what's extremely important is we understand, or the students understand, how to actually access, how to log in to these applications. So I think we should probably take a second and explain to them, show them, demonstrate how to log into these applications. What do you say? Right, I agree. So let's, uh, how about I'll do the desktop? No, I'm, I was doing desktop. No, remember before we started, I said I was doing the desktop. No, I thought you said I was doing the desktop. I as in me, I. Rock, paper, scissors? Okay, all right, ready? One, two, three. Oh, sorry, I screwed up. One, I beat you anyway, we look at it. I won, I'm the rock, whatever. So let's take a look at how to log in once the students actually are on a CMS desktop. So it's very simple. All they need to do is go to the CMS website. On the bottom right hand uh, corner, underneath Quick Links, they can click on Student Portal. Once they click on Student Portal, they'll see a list of all of the uh, options, all the apps uh, that they can uh, access. And very simple, all they need to do is click on the app. They don't need to log in. Okay. Simple sign or single sign-on, authenticated automatically once they log into the computer. Very simple, that's why I, I did the desktop. Right, because you're a simple guy. So the Chromebook um, is has a little extra step to it. So when you log into a Chromebook, the Chromebook login requires you to log in with your Google account. So your Google email address that our students have, that's what they will log into the Chromebook with. So their stu our students, when they log in, it's going to be their um, uh, student ID number at student dot cms.k12.nc.us and then they're going to enter their Google account password. So it's important to make sure that, that, that their Chromebook access is with their Google account. And from that point, you're going to follow similar steps to what David is, was telling you. Just, you can still go to the CMS website, you can still scroll down and find student portal, and then when you want to click on one of the options on there, whether it be Compass or Dreambox, Raskiz, G3000, uh, G3000, one of those options on there. When you click on that, you are then going to log in with your network password, your network login. And that is the login that you would use to log into your computer. But this is the login that Donna was talking about that you guys will be receiving uh, from the district on, on, on the cards. So that's what you're going to use when you get to the student portal to log in from there. So that's how you're going to access these, these uh, resources from a Chromebook. You're right, and, and remember, when you're, the students can actually log in at home now. So when they log in at home, all they need to do is go to the CMS website, once again, student portal under Quick Links. But when they actually click on one of those apps mm -hmm. and they type in their username, they need to add the CMS sites before their username. So CMS sites slash and then their network CMS account. Mm -hmm. 
So just a little different, but no big deal there, but that's how you log in to the student portal from the different devices. All right, so in this episode, we went over some very important information. We just want to go back over one more time, make sure everybody understand, understands this information. Yep, then first of all, we want to make sure that the K through three students can access and they understand they can access these learning applications at home through the student portal. Second, beginning February 10th, K through three students will have a new password for apps within that student portal. And the third and final thing is that the district will provide cards with login information and passwords for our K33 students. That's right. Don't forget to check out our, our blog, our CLM blog, where we kind of extend the conversation from here. Also, Innovative Teacher of the Month, please continue to, to, send a, to submit your entries for those. We love reading what you, what you put in there. We encourage you to continue to participate in that. Guys, once again, you can check us out on Twitter. Our handle is at CMS to the core. You can go to our website. Uh, it is j.mp slash cmslearnsnet. Yes. And you can email one of us at our CMS Learns email address. Thanks for tuning in. Make sure you guys check us out next week for another edition of IT Weekly.